Hey, good morning guys. So today we're gonna do a Saturday ride to Yalaha Bakery. It's about 30 miles from here and then we ride back, so around 60 miles. Meeting up some friends, having a good time on a beautiful Saturday morning. So I love cycling, riding my bike. There are a few things as a cyclist that I regret doing. So one thing I really regret was selling my first bike. My, my real, like when I really wanted to do road cycling. I bought this bike, Cannondale Super 6, simple bike. It's a SRAM uh, Apex uh, double tap. But I love that bike. And you create memories on top of a, a bike, right? You, uh, especially when you have it for a couple years. And I remember just having like my first experience doing my longest ride, you know, going up a big mountain and all those memories. When I moved to Florida, I said, I'm going to buy a new bike. So I'm going to sell this one so I can get the money and buy the new bike. Well, sold the bike, got the new bike, loved the new bike, but I missed my old bike and all the memories. And actually it didn't make much of a difference. It was a, wasn't an expensive bike so at the end it was like you know should have had sold that bike if i still had it i think I, I i think i would be very happy if i still had that bike now i have my uh my specialized tarmac sl5 it's an old bike but with that bike i started my business the ride experience where i did my first tours and so I'm not selling that bike, no way. Even though it's an old bike, it rides great. I ride, it did sometimes, actually not since, it's on my trainer. So I use it to ride on Zwift. So yeah, so if you have that old bike, you're thinking of selling it just to like help out and buying a new bike, sometimes it's not worth it, especially if you have a lot of great experience on it. tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired Usually I have my uh, media mode on my GoPro and it's very good with the microphone and shutting down the wind but I forgot to put it on today so pardon the noise of the wind when we're riding Another thing I regret doing as a cyclist is shaving my legs Yes, they're shaved It's just that uh, after you shave it, it's really weird in the beginning, but then after, even when like I'm off season, not riding much, I can't let my hair grow again. It's weird. I feel weird and now it's kind of a pain having to shave like every week. Uh, my wife said, oh, you should do like a permanent laser thing, but I don't know. I don't like that. You know, everything that you do, like a permanent thing on your body, like for example, I'm not against tattoos, but I would never do a tattoo. It's just me, you know, I don't like permanent things on my body. So I don't know, maybe I'll do it someday because shaving your legs, it's a hassle. It, you feel cleaner. It's like, it's also the style of cycling it makes you faster. Nah, it doesn't. But yeah, that's a thing that I experience. Now I have to shave it every week. So beautiful Lake Harris and we're a couple miles away from uh, Yalaha Bakery. It's just a beautiful day. Clear skies. We had a, a big rain before yesterday. So spring in Florida, you have like these showers, thunderstorms, and it clears everything. The next day usually is very beautiful. It's very windy today though, but it's a gorgeous day. Yeah, we have to enjoy the beginning of spring because soon the warm weather is coming and it's going to be super hot. The weather today, we're in the 60s, so it's just perfect. So this is one of my favorite parts of how we in the hills when we ride to Yalaha. I'm going to tell you that I love you. 
100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell you Okay, yeah, this was nice. Everybody here? Good? All right. Yeah, one of my favorite stops is Yalaha Bakery. Now, one thing I regret is related to food is uh, there was a time that I went kind of low carb, uh, not taking too much carbs or not eating enough during the rides and during my day. And it was a good experiment, but it's something I did not do well. My performance really dropped. Um, and I learned that uh, carbs do make a lot of difference. We cannot compare ourselves to people that are sedentary or just go to the gym once or twice a week. If you're riding your bike, you know, six, 10 hours, sometimes 15 hours a week, you need you need to fuel yourself. And I, I had a much better understanding after that, but for a, over a year, I tried going low carb, more fat, and it, I, it didn't work out. I really suffered. Uh, at the beginning, it felt great, but after, a month or two and I tried it a couple times but it didn't work for me so that's the thing that today I really am very conscious of how much carbs and uh, what to eat on the bike that's very 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 important yes I'm gonna let you know just how much I tell you mama About the rides that we're gonna do some people um, say I, I don't know if I can do it um, I invite some people I try I always try to incentive people to join the group you know, I didn't ride much this week I don't know if I can do it and that's one thing I learned over time is I missed out on so many rides and events and races because I felt I wasn't fit enough yeah and sometimes we suffer sometimes we are afraid of getting dropped but if you don't risk, you're not gonna enjoy, you're gonna miss out on many different rides. So even though you haven't ridden much long distances or you're just beginning, try to take some risks. It's worth it because when you finish a ride and, and you accomplish it, you feel so much satisfaction. You feel so much joy of doing the ride. Even though sometimes it's, it's suffering, it's hard to hang on to the group, but yes, you can do. Uh, especially when it's a group that's pretty open to receiving uh, new cyclists and new people in. Uh, that's something we really try to do and try, try to keep everybody together. So don't be afraid of joining a group or doing more than 60 miles. Hey Yuri! So that's it. That's I think the things that I think I regret in cycling. The rest is just a great experience. That's 
Big guys back at the shop. Uh, we had a pretty good group today, huh? It was fun, uh, beautiful, beautiful day. So yeah, in this video, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of my experience and uh, the things I've regretted, the things I've learned, and the more years you have of riding, cycling, the more experience you're gonna have, you're gonna be able to share. So that's what I wanted to do with this video, share a little bit with you guys. And I think that's it. That's it for today. As always, I'll see you in our next ride experience. Ciao. Oh,